Well, with me is business reporter Amir Paivar from BBC Persian. Amir, first of all, let's talk about why Saudi Arabia, uh, we might have expected it to restrict production, seeing the price fall like this. It hasn't. Why not? It seems for Saudi Arabia right now, maintaining its market share is more important than adjusting the price. Saudis pump around 10 million barrels a day, export most of it. That's a major share of the market. And with that comes a certain degree of influence they're not happy to relinquish. They replaced Iraq and Iran, which lost their market share uh, because of war in Iraq and sanctions in Iran. And, and uh, Saudis are, feel, are happy right now to keep that market share at any cost. What is this doing for a country like Iran? when you see the price fall like this? Well, countries like Iran, Venezuela or Russia, they, uh, the government revenues depend quite a lot on oil exports. And Iran is more than half of government revenues come from, uh, from oil. Every year in their budget, they pencil in a price for oil based on which they make all their calculations of how much they predict they will earn and how much they shall uh, uh, spend. This fiscal year for Iran, for example, that price is $100 per barrel. Now, every dollar below $100 means at the end of the year, they will be facing a major budget deficit. So these countries are literally seeing their, their budget go up and down with that price of oil daily. Absolutely, absolutely. Any, any, anything they sell, more than 100 will go to a kitty, to a sovereign fund which they can invest. But when it comes down, lower than, say, this year for Iran, lower than $100 uh, uh, a barrel, that means they will end up uh, having trouble uh, meeting their targets. Lots of speculation, as there always is, about the reasons behind countries acting or not acting as they are. And uh, the Saudi Arabia not restricting its oil production. The, the theory is that this is encouraged by the US. This would put pressure perhaps on Iran, Russia, more than it would on Saudi. All sorts of, of theories abounding. That's right. As a business correspondent, I tend to more focus on business basics and on, on the market. What, what I see if the Saudis cut uh, and others don't, then they will replace Saudi Arabia and the prices will not come down anyway. But of course, there's wild speculation in the market that the Saudis are doing this to put pressure in line with Americans, to put pressure on Russia and Iran. Uh, to get uh, this pressure coupled with sanctions will, will, will put a lot of burden on the, on, on the finances of those two countries and uh, will probably, for in case of Iran, uh, lead them towards agreeing to a nuclear deal or in case of Russia uh, the, uh, resolving their issues over, over Ukraine. So oil barrels mean politics as ever it's, in it's so always. many ways. Uh, I mean one, one other question about the fracking, the, the production of oil in the US domestically. How viable this is when the oil price goes down and, and how actually if the oil price goes down it isn't quite such a good thing to do for the US and Saudi benefits in, in that way. That's right. Uh, part of what the, the reason why we're seeing these prices right now, although there are crises in Iraq or Libya or Iran is out of the market because of sanctions, is because of shale oil, because of tight or unconventional oil in the U.S. Uh, so the supply is now more than, more than demand. But in the market, everybody is saying that, saying that there, is a, there is a threshold of price say around uh, 65, 70, depending on, on the type of shale, tar sands of Canada or shale in US. If the price falls below that, it will, it will not be m economical to produce shale oil and hence pr a supply will, will come down and the price will, will balance. But there is there's not uh, one single view over that. The OPEC, OPEC P, uh, members believe that will happen. OPEC Secretary General last week told us in an oil conference that we, at current prices, 50% of shale oil will be, will be wiped off the market. That's not the view shared by most of the oil giants. Amir, thank you very much. Amir Paiva. Now, uh, if you want to know how this is affecting something that we all know about the price of petrol in your country, you can visit our website. We have a fuel price calculator now. It will tell you how much more or less you pay for a tank of fuel than the world average. That is online at bbc.com forward slash.